Hey, what's up YouTube, Skybadger here, and we're back on Would You Guess It, Day 11 of our 100 player fan game series. Now, I may have done a video yesterday, I can't honestly remember at this point, or maybe I left it out, I don't know. Either way, depending on what I did or did not recall yesterday, which I can't remember, it was like 24 hours ago if I did, we're in 12th place, we're uh, okay in 12th place on the most advanced nations list, so we're not doing too bad here. Now... We should jump up a little bit in the Index of Nations. Now, we're not going to jump too high. We're not going to skyrocket into the top 10 today. Uh, well, I mean, it would be nice to be back in there. But I think we might jump in front of uh, Master J-Dog, which I believe is South India. So, why I think we'll do that is because yesterday, as I think I recorded, Borneo preemptively attacked us. Now, that was a good move on his end. It really shot up our plans and made us have to go for a step-by-step -step approach. Luckily, however, due to the fact I had a strong navy at the time, I've been able to successfully escort all of my groups to the intended destinations. Now, they didn't get there unscathed. All of the units and all of the convoys they sent at one point or another got hit by enemy submarines. Now, whether or not they were Borneo's intended targets or whether I accidentally ran into them, I don't know. But regardless, Borneo is doing a great job of... Uh, really slowing me down so oh we haven't lost any troops on the land yet all of our losses have been on the seas luckily though due to the fact we have a navy we've been able to keep our convoys intact same can't be said for new south wales i mean look how close it is that is, that is so sad that would ruin my day right there if i woke up to that and because i mean there's nothing i can do can't just, not my unit, can't drag just like one foot forward so it's in range so it can fire on the submarine. Anyway, that's pretty sad. Message him about it. He knows what's, well, he probably doesn't. He's probably asleep right now. Oh, I could do some sleep. Anyway, so things are going as planned. We have successfully nearly, well, basically captured this island here, uh, one of his core islands. And at the moment, we're just retreating and getting our units back into the city of Wano. I assume that's how you pronounce it. And the aim is to hold this over day change, and then we have an industrial center in the area. I was tempted to chase down this tank and finish it off, but at the end of the day, you're just going to capture this one victory point province right here and it's meh, it's not too much of a dish issue and then by then my cruisers will be in range and they can finish it off because I mean they do free damage to tanks and there's well one damage to tanks there's three of them and this only has seven hit points so in three rounds of combat I can effectively deal with that so I'm, I'm not too concerned. If we did have an air base here however which I've also messaged New South Wales about we could deploy tactical bombers to harass them and slow them down. And if we did have an airbase here, we could potentially put an airbase here, and then we could like immediately have, you know, air cover over there. However, as nice as that sounds, uh, I wouldn't do it. At least I'd be really careful about it because our interceptors, they can't make the jump. So we'd have a little bit of an issue there. So at the moment, our air force is just on patrolling duties, making sure no one's coming around the side and watching the areas that our submarines can't watch. So these groups up here, on Bonio's main island. This one here is like, you know, I guess it's technically a main island of his. Uh, these ones here are a bit more important. Luckily, I was, these only got hit by one sub. So, I mean, if you look at them, they're still in great neck. They're, they're in pretty good condition. So, capturing these industrial centers down here will give us a base of which we can start to reinforce these armies and get them back up to the strength they were beforehand. Getting this army back here up to the strength it was beforehand is really important. As we can see, although it hasn't taken as much damage as this poor group over here, it is still a little worse for wear, considering our anti-tank guns are damaged. Our infantry is okay, but we... Yeah, definitely need to reinforce this group, considering Borneo is sending reinforcements as well. But, I mean, at this point, although we want to capture the island and deny him from controlling it, our main goal is just to take industrial centers away from him so he can't produce troops. His submarines, oh, he's done a good job of pissing me off with those, have been really effective. So, we need to definitely destroy and deny him of ports, and that is one of our biggest goals right there, denial of ports. So... That's something that's going to, we're going to be able to do a lot of damage with up here. Once we catch these, we will have a lot more ports in the region ourselves, and we can start producing more and more destroyers and 
subs and get all that sort of good stuff. So in terms of what we're building at the moment to help us continue fighting this war, we are building one more cruiser, and that will get us up to 10 cruisers in total. After that though, I'm going to stop, wait for these level 3 ports to open, and then I'm going to start spamming out, well not spamming out, you know what I mean, just producing some lovely carriers. We need some good aircraft carriers in the region, and they will be able to help us really dominate this area. Because at the moment, as we can see, our aircraft are having a hard time navigating the islands, but once we get some carriers out, we can really pick up the flow of our aircraft and get them moving around with a lot more ease and then I might be able to base some aircraft out of New Zealand for defense. At the moment New Zealand is pretty undefended although I do have the sub wall it's pretty hard to keep a constant eye on it. I only really have a two to three hour gap to spot anything passing through. So I need to be really vigilant there just sneak through at the right time of day basically gets my core all good uh, but I mean at that point you land on one island you're gonna have to land on the other one at the same time or else the 23 subs I got in the region are just gonna encircle the island you're oh shit oh no oh no stop there we go okay crisis diverted I mean uh, we do need to get that back on course so oh god I was not looking forward to resetting all of those. Anyway, so, you know, you get 23 subs closing around the island you're on, and then I can just send in and produce units from the other island and take it back. It would be really annoying and frustrating, and it would deal a major blow to my economy, but it wouldn't be the end of me. So, there's not really much more to say. This is a pretty slow process, and like I said, we're denying him with ports and industrial centers. Taking his core provinces as well will also completely crush and decimate his ability to produce anything, for that matter. So, by taking his cores, he has no resources and will struggle to produce high quality troops. And then he'll really be pushed to these industrial centers out here, all the way out here, which are far from the fight. You know, I'm not saying they're bad, I mean, they're pretty good. Look at that, level 2 ports. Actually, he built a level 2 port down here the other day. So I'm really, really keen to capture this. I really want that port right there. If I can capture Davio City, um, that's going to be a massive boost. It means I can produce cruisers in the region. Uh, and then apart from those two over there, he has two industrial centers over here. But at the moment, it looks like we're set to claim nearly all of his. At which point, he'll have a pretty hard time fighting. In terms of spying at the moment, we've got to be careful. Because yesterday, I did not appropriately allow for my spies. And we ran out of money. And we're unable to fulfill our spying duties. Although we still got the reveal all on Borneo, we have to be pretty careful. So there's nothing in the build queue that's going to stuff me up like tomorrow, like yesterday. And we have plenty of time before day change, so we should be able to get back up to 25 before then. Uh, now today we have also deployed some spies on his ally, National China. So National China is pretty close to fighting at the moment. He might be looking to get involved as well, and I definitely don't want to see that happen. So I'm going to deploy some spies on him, make sure he does not do anything either side could regret. So I mean, I gotta stay on top of these things. Uh, so I should probably deploy some more. I have two idle spies, but to deploy them, I'm going to need another 8,000 resources. So can I sell anything? I've got to hold on to some rear. Because I need to upgrade my destroyers. So how much rear can I sell? I can sell a little bit of rear. Not much. I can sell that much, that's for sure. Yes, I can't really sell much more rear. I don't really want to sell too much oil. Is there any food going? Nah. So, I mean, at this point, it's pretty unlikely I'm going to be able to get the full amount of spies on National China. But hopefully I get lucky, though, and we get some good results. So, who knows? Maybe within the hour I might just be able to crawl across the line. I get enough money, especially as I catch some of these provinces down here as well. So I'm going to end the episode here. I'm not going to go around the world today. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.